Saturday. I couldn't wait to start my weight training program today. Even though mom wouldn't let me get the equipment I needed, I wasn't going to let that hold me back. So I went into the fridge and emptied out the milk and orange juice and filled the jugs with sand. Then I taped them to a broomstick, and I had myself a pretty decent barbell. After that, I made a bench press out of an ironing board and some boxes. Once I had that all set, I was ready to do some serious lifting. I needed a spotting partner, so I called Rowley. And when he showed up at my door wearing some ridiculous getup, I knew I made a mistake in biting him. I made Rowley use the bench press first, mostly because I wanted to see if the broomstick was going to hold up. He did about five reps, and he was ready to quit, but I wouldn't let him. That's what a good training partner is for, to push you beyond your limits. I knew Rowley wasn't going to be as serious about weightlifting as I was, so I decided to try out an experiment to test his dedication. In the middle of Rowley's set, I went and got this phony nose and mustache Roderick has in his junk drawer. And right when Rowley had the barbell in the down position, I leaned over and looked at him. Sure enough, Rowley totally lost his concentration. He couldn't even get the barbell off his chest. I thought about helping him out, but then I realized that if Rowley didn't get serious about working out, he was never going to get to my level. I eventually had to rescue him because he started biting the milk jug to let the sand leak out. After Rowley got off the bench press, it was time for my set. But Rowley said he didn't feel like working out anymore, and he went home. You know, I figured he'd pull something like that. But I guess you can't expect everyone to have the same kind of dedication as you.